So the other day, my husband, Mr. Gamer, asked me if I thought he was overweight. Ooh, what do you say to that? Do you go with brutal honesty, a white lie, or somewhere in between? Stay tuned to see what we think. Hi, this is a gamer's wife, here to share with you my relationship and pet care hacks, all from a geek girl's point of view. And today's topic was inspired by a real conversation I had with my husband. So let me rewind back to last week while we were getting ready for bed. The backstory is that I just finished training for a 6K race for World Vision. Now I flat out hate running, but it was for a good cause and I knew it would kickstart my lazy butt into working out again. Mr. Gamer had also complained about being too sedentary, so I got him a three month gym pass as an early Father's Day gift. Yeah, one month later, he still hasn't used it. So I go, hey babe, I noticed you haven't had time to use your gift, so I'm offering to watch the kids every Friday night to give you the chance to go. You see, I'm all proud of myself for sacrificing my Friday evenings to give him more free time, right? At which point he responds, are you trying to tell me you think I'm fat? Whoa, 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 didn't see that coming. God's honest truth. What I'm really thinking is, no, I just don't want you to waste my money. That pass is gonna expire in three months. But what actually came out of my mouth was, no, I just wanna help you make time to go to the gym since you're the one who said you're always too busy. I'm not concerned about your weight at all. I'm concerned about your health. I want you to take care of yourself so you'll be around for our kids. That answer seemed to satisfy him, but then, because he brought it up, I did take a closer look at him, and yeah, his waistline has expanded a bit, probably because of winter hibernation. Still, not the forefront of my mind. I'm mainly concerned because lately he's had decreased energy and a weaker immunity system in general. So I think this story brings up a really good question. What do you do if your spouse is overweight and may or may not want to do something about it? And with me today, I have my husband, Mr. Gamer, who is graciously offered to share his thoughts. So let's let's go back to that story. Um, why did you bring up the the F word? <laughs> uh, did you really think that I, I think you're overweight? No, normally in our marriage especially, I think you tend to be very transparent about things but I've definitely had people in the past that I've dated that made points by you know roundabout methods and then when you confront them about it they were like oh no that's not what I meant at all and it's totally what they meant so yeah you know I, I think that's the only reason it came up I think it was less to do with you I think it was more to do with you know okay well what are you really trying to say here is there is there a hidden message to set the record straight, I do not think you're overweight <laughs> <laughs> at all. So let's bring up the, I guess, trigger <laughs> question. Let's say, what if you're not attracted to your partner anymore? So that's that's me. What if I gained 100 pounds, 150 pounds? You know, I, I'm much larger than I am now. Uh, would you bring it up? And at, at what point would you bring it up if you did? And then how would you do it? it's not quite as cut and dry in that. Mm. Saying I'm not attracted to you is not the same thing as saying, you know, like there, there may be a lot of things I'm attracted to about you. Mm. The physical thing may be one area where I'm you know, finding it hard to be attracted or whatever. I, I think it's important to start there and say, you know, there are a lot of things I love about this person. There's, there's a lot of things I am attracted to. Their personality, their sense of humor, their commitment whatever it is great mother great father yes that that's important this is one aspect of attraction but you know physical attraction that's important um, my default has always been total honesty is the best policy that doesn't mean you have to be mean about it but if there's a problem I've never seen the point in like you know kicking it under the rug over and over if, if there's really a problem, you, you know, I think I think there's totally a place to say to somebody, hey, you know, there's a lot of things about our marriage that are great. I'm, I'm being honest with you. There's this one thing that is a problem, and I'm, I'm, it's starting to become a problem for me, and I wanted to talk about how we can fix it and what we need to do. 
I think so yes, I would bring it up. I agree. I, I think in every marriage, there's always going to be issues. And then you prioritize which ones are the battles you want to fight or that are important enough to bring up to your partner. And then I think you're absolutely right. I think your partner can't read your mind. Um, so if it's something that's important to you and you want them to change, the only way they're ever going to know and be able to do something about it is if you are honest and you do bring it up to them. Obviously in a very kind, you know, you know your partner the best, right? You know how they're gonna respond or what buttons or how sensitive they are. So I think you do bring it up in a very kind way and I think you did a, that was a, good, a lot of good examples. The stroke, poke, stroke of compliment them and tell them how much you love them and all the other aspects and this is just one area um, that you wanna talk about. Okay, so let's do the reverse role. Let's say your partner tells you that they're not attracted to you anymore because of your weight. Let's say you're the one who has gained 100, 150 pounds. How would you take it? Well, I think humans are going to be defensive, first of all. I, th I think no one is going to want to hear that message. I think you need to get over your initial reaction and really think it through and be like, okay, there's a problem here. Again, ignoring it isn't going to make it go away. What do we need to do about this? Because obviously, I, I think if you're starting from the standpoint where you know that your spouse is for you, not against you, that they're, they're on your side, then I think it makes it a little easier to take something like this. I think, like, if I heard that as a woman, you know, I think the first thing I would have to do is really examine myself and go, you know, am I happy with where I am? my own appearance, right? Is that statement true? You know, you might be married to a husband who's like, oh, you gained five pounds and they're on your case. Like, I don't, I don't know what your situation is, right? So definitely first evaluate first, is it actually true? Are you happy with where your body is? You know, and then the next step would be, okay, let's say I am happy or not happy with my body size, then let's consider the partner's feelings. Absolutely, and you know, is this something worth working on for him? So sorry to cut it short, but that is the end of the first half of our two-part interview. In part two, we'll continue this discussion on ways you can accept and support your partner on their weight loss journey. Comment below if you've had experiences with this topic, and we'll see you guys next time.